Hi Libra, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radio Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button. Uh, And for those of you that are wondering, my readings are for your sun, moon, and ascendant. So whether you're sun, moon, or rising sign Libra, this is for you. Uh, With that said, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So um, <clears throat> as you probably noticed the monthlies are very late and I apologize for that so your key to the week is going to be a random pull this week uh, and for this week you have the world card. In this deck it's actually the universe um, which I actually really like because it's got kind of like a almost like a cosmic vibe to it, right? And the fact that you have the world card, something about your uh, the way that you show up in the world is coming up for review this week. It may be that there's a very big leap of some sort that kind of comes up. I kind of see this card very often on, on like a microcosmic level. It's kind of like a, a big leap forward in a lot of ways. Uh, sometimes it can literally talk about as well, um, like a personal evolution where you're taking like a, a massive step forward or upward. Very often I see this card for people that are getting promotions uh, or you know they're about to launch something of their own in a really big way. Uh, and a lot of times as well, this can be an accolade as well that is reached. Now, uh, this because it is the world card, it can also talk about your personal community. So this week, that might be coming up for you as well. All right, so let's have a look at your sections this week to see what comes up for you. So for your actions and options this week, you have the Eight of Swords, right? In a lot of ways, uh, your Eight of Swords, another uh, another sign got this card this week in this same position. And what I said to them is sometimes with the, the Eight of Swords, you need to be in something for the long haul. And this week, it looks like you're making a very big decision. Uh, now, we are in a Mercury retrograde, so you need to be aware of that doesn't necessarily mean that you, um, it doesn't mean that you stop living, right? It doesn't mean that you stop living life because if we'd stop living for retrogrades, we'd never get anything done. But what comes up this week is it looks like you're doing a lot of the background thinking. You know, when you're gearing up for a big move of some sort, you have to do a lot of, you know, you go through a lot of preliminary stages. This week, I actually feel like there's a very big commitment that you are really mulling over in your mind. Uh, And it kind of feels, if I'm completely honest with you, like you're trying to do this on your own. Uh, I don't think this is the right week for you to do that. This is a week to connect, reach out, ask for a second opinion, speak to friends, speak to family. If there's somebody that you can trust, especially if it's like an idea of some sort, speak to somebody that you can trust, that you know is not going to pinch your idea or whatever. Um, But definitely this week, don't try to go it alone, right? There's this energy where it's kind of like you're trying to attack something that is a very, you know, it's a very big ask. So just be aware of that this week. Uh, In terms of the big step forward, Where is it that you are holding yourself back? Where is it that you're stopping yourself? And if there is any form of imposter syndrome that shows up for you this week, you really need to snap yourself out of it and quickly at that. For your communications and conversations, you have the Ace of Cups. Through other people, connections to others is where you are going to find your best path this week even with a Mercury retrograde. Now, here's the exciting thing. Because you are an air sign, the Mercury retrograde is offering a trine energy to you. It's taking place in the sign of Aquarius. So this kind of gives you, it, for me, whenever whenever you get a trine Mercury retrograde, I feel like it brings something back onto the table, right? It means it's gonna bring something to you that you may not have been able to use previously, but you can use now. Now, with your Ace of Cups, this is harmonious things. It's also wishes fulfilled. It's new starts and fresh uh, fresh directions that open up for you. If you try to go it alone, though, the chances are it's not going to go very far. So it's really important, even with the Mercury retrograde energy, reach out, connect to others. It's through other people this week that you're going to really be able to make those advancements. When it comes to the career, this is good news for you. For those of you that work for somebody else, company, whatever, uh, this is nice. It's really nice because something that you've wanted, uh, something that you've actually really wanted at a very heart level is now starting to take shape or maybe you're being considered for something that you wanted. Uh, For those of you that own your own business or are um, what I call 
uh, oh come on brain <laughs> um, for those of you that are uh, solopreneurs entrepreneurs or business uh, business owners again it's through other people it's through the connections now because it is the ace of cups this suggests to me either family members or friends people that you actually know right people that are already a part of your world people that you feel connected to on a heart space level that's where you're going to get the input that you need or the information or even just the support uh, and then for those of you that are retired or no longer working for any reason um um, this is really nice, right? This kind of feels like you taking a moment or taking a step back where you can say, you know what, I've earned my stripes and now it's time for what I want, right? This is the time, let's say, you know, maybe up until now you haven't been enjoying your retirement because of, you know, the whole world situation. Well, this kind of suggests that this week you're going to say, actually, you know what, come what may, this is the time that I get to enjoy. And no matter what's taking place out there, I'm going to find a way to enjoy this in my bubble. For your money amateur, materials you have the five of swords and it's right underneath the eight of swords big thing that comes up here this week if there is something that has been promised to you uh, the chances are it's not going to be delivered certainly not in the time frame or the package that you were told it was coming in this is also not a week to go into now connect to get ideas from get help from don't be all up in your own mind and isolate yourself this week for sure when it comes to the finances or the money, this is not a week to go into it with somebody else. This is not a week to collaborate on anything where you're putting your money with somebody else's money because the chances are at some point with these cards, especially with the Eight of Swords right above, it's just gonna clash, right? So what looks rosy on the surface now will likely at some point devolve. Um, I, and I kind of feel like as well, you probably will end up having to revisit this at a later date and you might kind of get that regret from it. So, you know, when it comes to putting money into something with somebody else, unless it's like a husband or a wife or whatever, um, then no. For me, it's a, an absolute no-go. <clears throat> For your physical health and vitality, this is going to be your um, your skin. Uh, it definitely could feel like as well, yeah, so your skin, your nervous system as well, these are things to really look after over the course of this week. And for your home and environment, um, I get this feeling that this week you're probably gonna have to, um, it might be that you you maybe you've tried maybe you've tried to avoid having a certain conversation or avoided trying to pick a side this week you might not necessarily have a choice you might have to get into something or you might be drawn into something just by association if that is the case state the facts and pull out of it after uh, and then finally for your love and relations you have the four of swords this is a lot of air energy here Right, you've got the Four of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Now it's not quite a run of numbers because they haven't gone in sequence. Um, but your Four of Swords, when it comes to love and relationships, especially for those of you that are partnered, what can you do to take time off together? What can you do to dedicate time and energy to the specifically to the uh, the um, the connection that is your relationship where can you give more time and energy to that this is what you're being asked to look at uh, it also suggests as well if there's something that you guys are being asked to do or to put in as a collective when it comes to the finances again it's a no it just kind of feels like at some point it's going to end up devolving and you might think to yourself you know at the moment it might look good and then further, you know, the further you get down the line, certainly towards sort of July, it might go horribly wrong. So my advice to you would be to stay clear, all right? <clears throat> and then for your, um, sorry, that's the front door. And then for your, um, for those of you that are single, uh, again, take some time for yourself, right? This is a week for you to really just get comfortable with having time by yourself. And if you are meeting anybody, it's going to be through that, right? This is a time to give back to yourself. When you get back to really reconnecting to who you feel that you actually are, that's when the best attributes of you are going to wake up. And that's where you're really going to start to discover this week who and what a relationship actually looks like for you going forward. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.